So Monique, is it time for coffee? It is if we're in Portugal. Welcome to Track Us Down. If you're just joining us, I'm Doug. And I'm Monique. Our channel is all about downshifting to an early retirement, living a healthy lifestyle, and enjoying all the freedom that comes with it. And that includes a better coffee time. After over 25 years of working hard and raising our family, we retired from our careers, we sold everything, and we began our second half of life. We make our base here on the beautiful island of Madeira, Portugal. Today we're going to share five things that we appreciate about Portugal. We've lived here for eight months now and there are things that happen in Portugal that are just great and that we really have come to appreciate. And today we're just going to do a fun video sharing five of those with you. As many mentioned, we've been here for over eight months now and we've done a quite a few videos not only about retirement and living abroad but especially of course about Portugal and Madeira Portugal. If you're new to our channel or if you've been watching for a while please make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below. We really like hearing from you as far as your experiences as you work towards your second half of life. In today's video we're going to talk about things that we really have come to appreciate after living here for the better part of a year. First of all, and we've mentioned it before on some of our other videos, is the cafe culture. They know how to do it here in Portugal, and I'm sure in all of Europe, but especially here. What we've always been used to in our first half of life, busy working, busy running around to kids sports, and our long days, early mornings, has been grabbing a coffee first thing in the morning as we're getting ready, and then around midday maybe you need another coffee to keep you going for the longer hours ahead. It's always been a rush and it's not always enjoyable. Once in a while, maybe on the weekend, you can get out and enjoy a coffee with a friend or a family member, but even then, that might be while you're running errands to get ready for the next week. Here, it's a lot different. And we really appreciate that slower pace to life where going for a coffee is actually an activity all to itself. It's not something thrown in between, it is actually the main event. And that kind of goes with another thing that we really appreciate about Portugal is the way that they honor the lunch hour. That's something that's new to us and I'm sure that that exists across Europe. We are in Portugal so that's where we're seeing it. How businesses close down, people go out for lunch together, people have a longer lunch and it's just so nice to see. It's so different than what we were used to where we would go grab lunch really quickly or eat lunch at our desk. It's just a nice, nicer way of life and it goes with that cafe culture to the slower pace. And here you'll see people, they start off their mornings early in the morning with a little coffee. Not the big giant ones that they're grabbing to go, they're just the little cups and they're sitting, maybe they're reflecting by themselves before they start their busy day. Often they're with a friend or a family member and then closer to what we would traditionally call the lunch time around noon, you see them in the cafes again and in the afternoon later on. There are a ton of cafes all over Funchal, all over Madeira and they always seem to be full with people just living a more relaxed cafe lifestyle. Another thing we appreciate about Portugal is the way they do festivals. We've been fortunate enough to attend a few festivals here on the island of Madeira and they have just been incredible. From the way they put them together to the different activities that they have planned around them to the authenticity of all of them and just the engagement that everyone has, whether it's the tourists and the locals alike, all just taking part in fun, easy, good old festivals. Yeah, innocent. I think that's the, that's the main thing. You don't see any riffraff. You don't see any gang members. They're just families and people out enjoying their festival. And they're all over in every town on Madeira here. But there's many in Funchal throughout the summer months. And it's just people being innocent. It's almost like a throwback to a, 
a different time, a different yeah. era where you just went out and you enjoyed a picnic with your family, you watched a show, there's nobody being too judgy, there's nobody walking around looking to steal anything, there's nobody flashing any gang signs or any gang colors. It's just pure innocent fun. It just, it almost feels like we're in a different world, like we're in the Absolutely. Truman Show or something. Another thing we appreciate that's not very glamorous is the way they recycle here. I was surprised when we got in our apartment and our home, the way that their garbage cans are even designed. They're smaller, but they also have all the different sections for recycling. That's something we didn't have. We kind of threw all the recycle in one big bin and hoped for the best. Here, glass is divided from plastics and tin and papers divided. And you see that all over Funchal and in people's homes. They actually have a very robust garbage and recycled pickup here. That's one of the things that they're proud of on the island. And it is a very clean island and a clean city in Funchal. They pick up the garbage twice a week and they pick up the recycle once a week. And it's split between yellow for cans and plastic, green for bottles and blue for paper. And last but not least, something I truly appreciate here in Portugal, having been a teacher and loving organization and things running kind of in a certain way, is the way they do lineups here in Portugal. We've talked before about Portuguese patience and that's some, a lesson that we learned a long time ago moving to Portugal is Portuguese patience and taking a breath and things are slow but that's okay. The way that they have people line up for different things here is just so incredible to me. Everyone takes a little ticket out of a ticket machine. Someone told me the name of it and we're, we'll put it here. I don't know how to pronounce it yet. And whether you're in the hospital, at the post office, in line at the bakery, in line in a public office for government, everywhere it seems, you take a little ticket to the window and you wait. You wait with your little ticket and you go up to the window when you're called. I know I've seen this in bakeries, like Safeway, back home, but I've never seen it in all the places that you find it here in Portugal. It's a bit more modern than just a ticket though. You walk in, they have a little kiosk. It's just a little electronic kiosk and you push the button for the type of service that you're looking for. They might have a choice of three or five services, A through E. You push the button, it prints out a little ticket and they'll have an overhead screen up there and they'll have that A through E listed and it'll ding regularly and when you see your number come up, you go to that particular kiosk. And like Monique said, that's at the bakery, that's at the bank, that's at pharmacy. The, the pharmacy, so many different places. It just makes it easy. You just walk in, take your number, everybody lines up happily and quietly and everything proceeds in a nice orderly fashion. So those are just a few things that we have appreciated as we live our life here in Portugal and make our base here on the beautiful island of Madeira. And of course there are a ton of other things that we appreciate. We're just going to slowly go through the list from time to time because once in a while it just strikes us when we see something that we both notice is different from what we've been used to in our first half of life and how much we appreciate it here. Now I know there's many of you out there who've been to Portugal many times before and are living in Portugal now. Let us know some of the things that you appreciate after living here for however much time that you've been here. If you like our channel, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And as usual, check back in and... Track us down!